As a lightsaber installer, I 3D print a lot of things, but right now my 3D printer is pretty messed up. Recently I've been having a lot of problems with the build plate adhesion and the Bowden tube, which is causing most of my prints to fail, especially larger ones. So I figured I'd take this opportunity to do a few upgrades. The first thing I'm going to do is take this build plate apart almost completely. This is because I'm going to replace the stock springs with silicone ones and add a heat insulation pad. I just want to let you guys know that I actually don't know very much about 3D printers even though I use one all the time. So these upgrades today I got from Scott U. John's videos on YouTube. Go check out his multi-part Ender 3 Pro upgrade series. It's awesome. Now that the heat insulation is on, I have to poke holes in it with the screws. After that's done, I can add the new silicone springs. Hopefully these make it so I don't have to level the bed as much, especially once I get an automatic bed leveler. Now I just have to secure it all in place by screwing in the leveler knobs. I forgot to mention that earlier I removed the magnetic surface to make room for the glass plate. These bed clips will help it actually stay on the heating plate. Yeah, these things are incredibly strong. I highly doubt this glass bed is going to go anywhere. Now in order to replace this Bowden tube, I have to plug the 3D printer back in so I can heat up the nozzle and remove the filament. Once that's done, I just have to unclip the Bowden tube and pull it out. This new tube is supposedly one of the best, which it kind of has to be because it's cool looking in blue. In all seriousness, my old tube melted in quite a few spots. This new one shouldn't do that, and it just so happens that the blue looks way cooler than the white one. 